Uh, take us through how the sausage is going to get made from here on out. We have the Republicans coming out really en masse yesterday saying they're behind this, they support it, but the devil's in the details. And how are you actually going to get this through Congress and to the president? Well, David, thanks for the question. I think that right now, the way we look at it is that this is a priority for the American people. The economy has suffered for far too long. During the last eight years, the Obama administration, the economy averaged a 1.8 percent GDP growth. That's the lowest for any president since the Great Depression, Herbert Hoover. So we need to get this economy growing again, and we need to bring jobs back. And there's a couple aspects of that that I think are most important for most members on the Hill. One is a focus on middle class tax relief. That's, that's something that we hear again and again from Republicans and Democrats alike. But also is the corporate tax reform break. Uh, we believe it's important because the corporate tax code structure in America is so outdated that many jobs have been leaving our shores, as y'all have reported on many occasions. The inversions are something that has become so complicated that companies have decided they want to take their, their jobs overseas. We need to bring those jobs back. And so job growth is going to be an important part of our tax plan. We want this to be a bipartisan plan. We've spent a lot of time so far having met with over 250 members of Congress of both parties to help them understand what we're trying to do and to get their input as to how to move this forward. The timetable, David, is one that October will likely be focused on markups in the House and hearings. We hope to get a vote in the House in November. Meanwhile, in the Senate, we'll be doing markups and hearings at the same time. Hopefully a vote later in the Senate in later November, get this completed before the end of the year. So, so, Mark, you referred to a bipartisan approach. You've talked to a lot of people on both sides of the aisle. When we talk to Republican senators, Republican congressmen up there, they, to a person, say, there's no way we're getting any Democrats. We're going to have to do this through reconciliation. Are you saying they're wrong? Do you really think that you can get some Democrats to vote with you? We think that this plan will be better if we get Democrats. We certainly want to earn the support of Democrats. I think, David, what we've learned over the last nine months is that Republicans have made promises to repeal Obamacare for years, ever since 2010 on the campaign trail, and they couldn't do it on a partisan basis. So we can't just assume that we can get this passed with just Republican votes. We need to earn the support of Democrats, and that's why yesterday the president was traveling with Joe Donnelly to Indiana. It's why a couple of weeks ago when we went to North Dakota, we brought Heidi Heitkamp along for the speech to help her understand our plans. It's why we also focused on Missouri and we'll be focusing on Montana. We think we're going to need Democrats' support to get this across the finish line. I do think, though, Republicans feel an extra pressure at the moment uh, because, of, because of their failures to repeal Obamacare. And that helps create, I think, even greater interest in getting this done and getting it done in, a, in an expedited fashion before the end of the year.